Guys, welcome back to Stone Block 3. What an amazing episode awaits us. As you can see, we've done a lot of stuff. We've done the energizing orb automation. The channels are now working. We fixed that. We've done Ethergas. We've done a Weaver farm. We've done Magmator. And we've done a reactor. We just started the reactor. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. And let's get started. Guys, I think I solved the problem. Like, finally, four channels have been assigned. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I think I need five. All right. This is one channel. Yeah, perfect. Five. And finally, it shows ten, ten channels. The problem was that this spine that we made in the last episode was going straight up and not connecting to an ME controller, but it was connecting to the crafting panels. And I guess the crafting panels don't share, don't have channels. Now that this thing is connected to an ME controller face, it has enough channels. So this should work perfectly fine. Let's see it in action. Now, do I need more energizing rods? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But let's make one. We should have everything we need. Oh no. I didn't want this. Wait, it's, do it's done? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Wait, what's going on? Wait, I don't need this. Or do I? Yes, I, I need the other wrench. Put it away. I put it away. A wrench. <clears throat> so, guys. This is what I need. Link. I want it uh, like a so. And let's make another energizing rod. I don't know if we ever need them. But let's just make it. Perfect, this is what I wanted. Oh my god, guys, it seems to be working now, finally. <laughs> nice. Okay, boom, done. Perfect, guys, perfect. Now let's see if this works, guys. I need, oh, <laughs> I need the wither skeleton. We're close. Oh, nice. So the syringe needs to be full. I must not attack it just once. But I need, come, come here, yes. I need to fill it up just like a soul. This is perfect. Is it full? It is full. Very nice. Now I want to test out the... Uh, two mods i want to test out the rf tools and the soul shards now we need uh first of all you need a vile sword which is uh, made with a stick and two corrupted ingots corrupted ingots need uh, one iron uh, four vile dust which i believe is soul sand in a heated fan or like this soul sand and heated fan in lava and then the corrupted essence is just obsidian redstone and lapis but i got a vile sword from reward now the next thing i need the soul essence or soul shard yes it's a soul shard and the thing the quest book not the quest book the tip says right click on top of a glowstone block with a diamond so let's try it hmm. Okay, guys, so apparently you need a setup like this. So four blocks of quartz and four obsidian, and then you right-click on the on the glowstone. And now you have a soul shirt. Now this soul shirt needs to be filled. Nice. So we got two souls. How many? Um, I don't think that's going to work. 1,024 get the maximum level. That doesn't work. Okay, guys, let's get back to the RF tool spawner idea. A machine frame. Very easy. Nice. Now, I believe if I place the syringe, it tells me what I need. I need leaves, neverack, and bones. 
Well guys, we're going to make a stonework factory. It's very easy to make now. We need one pink slime. We need an advanced frame machine. And this furnace plastic, we got a lot. A diamond pickaxe, gold gear. An advanced frame machine. We got neverite scribe for days. Or we don't. Maybe we don't. But we definitely have two. And diamond gear, easy to get. Plastic, gold. A simple frame, never break, gold gear, iron, plastic, very easy. Very easy. And we have the two dissolution chambers, one with full of latex and one full of pink slime. So I'm going to build the stonework factory and now we can use the chicken eggs. Sorry. The chicken eggs, oh my god, we had so many. The chicken lava eggs and the chicken water eggs. And this should provide us with Neverak. And now guys, uh, bones we have. And it only takes point one bone per spawn. Neverak we will have with our material stonework factory. And this needs 30 of something organic. Such as carrots, potatoes, seeds, anything you want. And I think we're going to use sugarcane because we have loads of it. Next thing we need is three matter beamers. It is minimum of three, but you can build more and connect more to the spawner to provide the resources at a faster rate. And this, the three material beamers need to be connected to the spawner. Let's see. Now how do we connect them? There must be a wrench of some sort. Yes, the smart wrench from RF. Easy to craft? What is this? Easy to craft. No. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, I'm figuring out P2P tunnels. So I've got one here and using a memory card, shift right click on it. Then I drag the cable that usually allows only a few channels. I dragged it all the way here and right click with the memory card on this pitch and now you can see carry channels three so these three become one and eventually is just one channel so p2p tunnels are very useful now i want this to export bones out of a system i want this to export sugarcane like so now this needs a capacity upgrade because eventually it will need lava and water now let's see this is providing sugar cane and this is providing bones now they all have power because i connected one ender gate with some energy cable and they are all powered also these guys need levers i believe let's test it no nothing Mission set. Oh, nice. It works. See the beam? Very nice. Should also work. Nice. And now we just need the lava and water. Item drain. Let's see. Nice. One, two. Nice. I believe they should work. Lava, lava, uh, lava eggs and water. It does work. One and two. How do I tell this thing to export water? Can I drag it like this? Oh, I can. Nice. Nice. And then we need to change the output of this inventory to back. Push. So this has never act now. Nice. Now, 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 now. How do we do this? This is gonna be madness. Oh, oh my god, no. Shut this down. No. Oh my god, I need to shut it down before I die. 
Nice. Oh my god, guys. At least it works. At least it works. Let's teleport away. Boom. Boom. Nice. Boom. We're safe now. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go back and see if... Oh, nice. Just one. We can kill one, right? This is quite slow. Can I provide more... More of this? Hold on a sec. Now, let's see. Oh, it is working. And it's going faster. All right, guys. So, uh, it works with more than one matter beamers. And uh, in order not to waste many channels, I've connected one ME export bus to a chest. And then I'm piping out the sugarcane with an item pipe and an ultimate pipe upgrade with a round robin and now this is going to one two three four five six seven matter beams and this should increase the speed okay guys i'm having a i was having a bit of a trouble with the setup i had because they were escaping and yeah we got a few of them here but now it should be okay it should be okay this is quite satisfying, guys. I wish I had, like, Smite 5 or something. Alright, guys. We're almost up to Tire 4. We just need a few more kills. Hey, okay, Tire 4, guys. I am not going to be killing those until Tire 5. I just want to test it on Tire 4. Now, this thing, I tried to shut it down with a lever. It didn't work, so I'm just going to break it. And yeah, place some stone right here. Actually, what am I doing, guys? What am I doing? I placed the stone because I thought the weavers are going to spawn. Since I broke the spawner, there should be no no scale spawning. Anyways, let me build the soul cage. Right, I need to. We'll blast some soul sand. Let's do that. Let's just make... How many do we need? Let's make a stack. And... Yeah, we just need the... Vile dust. Okay, vile dust done. Oh. Nice. Now let's see. I just want to see how many it will spawn in an instance also does it need power and i believe we need to place the soul shard in the cage yep huh. well that's amazing guys that thing doesn't need oh my god this is uh, going to get bad really quick can i break Please tell me I won't lose the soul shards. Please tell me I will survive. Wait! Did I just lose the cage? Is the cage gone, guys? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. No, guys. Thank god. The soul shard is here. The soul cage is here. Well, this is amazing. Maybe it's worth grinding to 5th level, but uh, yeah, it took me like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. What do you think, guys? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I think it's not, guys. I think it's not. Let's just continue with the build. So the next thing I want is um, a small cage with... Uh, vector plates or whatever other thingamabob you want to transfer mobs and i want to run okay guys i've made the iron sword iron spikes and uh, mob masher patterns so we should be able to get a mob masher very easily perfect now I need this. 
I need this. And let's also make looting upgrades. Yep. And 10 looting. Nice. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, guys. So we got the. Basically, we got the Wither Skeleton Heads. We will get Soul Sun from Chickens. And now we need to build the Wither. Or not Placer. Wither Builder. And it needs the Supreme Machine Frame, which needs Ether Gas. Ether Gas? Ether Gas? Whatever you want to call it. Which you basically extract with a laser drill from a wither with a purple len laser lens and we also need a nether star now the first thing i need is some tinted glass now let's test it here in this corner no i don't want to test it in this corner now let's do the testing right here which is our failed attempt our previous room but it's worth trying is this guy trapped? Hold on a sec. Nope, he is not. Well, he died, guys, and I got the star, and I almost died. Now, let's test it again. He wasn't trapped. Now, I am not a pro in this. Is this guy trapped? I think he is. Ah! Oh my god, this is loud for you guys, but this guy is now trapped. Why is, he, why is he? He is not trapped. Guys, I was having food trouble, so I quickly made a setup a smart chicken and a cold chicken going into a netherite furnace, uh, making some fried egg, and then I just made some bread, and then you combine one bread and two fried eggs into an egg sandwich, and I made like a few stacks. Yeah, so that's, that's good chip. Now, I do have a fluid laser base and a laser drill because I wanted to extract lava, but yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, now I need fluid laser base. I need three more laser drills. That's not necessary, to be honest. Yeah, and we won't do it. But I need... A purple lens and yeah just purple dye and a white laser plane or any kind of lens all right guys so you put the fluid laser base on top of where you plan to spawn the wither and you just place the purple laser lens into it and then the laser drill would be to um i had some trouble with this in the past yeah this should face that one sec why 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 are you doing this nope but wait Think this worked yes perfect see now it needs some power should be able oh i have one anyways yep power nice now we need the wither hold on a sec hopefully this uh, this build fine and he will not fly away if he does i'm gonna pause the recording and i'm going to take a break <laughs> all right soul sand scrolls scrolls i believe i need to place it like a soul Well, that was bad. Can we save it? 
Ah. We couldn't save it. All right, all right. Very nice, guys. Very nice. This. Ah. This is bad. <laughs> well, guys. This was kind of bad. Everything, it looks like a battlefield now. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, we had to call in the artillery, which is basically cheating. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll fix this and I'll be back. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a break and enjoy a movie with my wife. All right, guys, so it's the next day for me. We went to the movies with my wife and we watched the new Avatar. Guys, it was amazing. Definitely worth watching in 3D, which we did. All right, guys, back to what we're doing. Now, I still couldn't figure out how to trap the weaver. So I thought, what if I build it underneath the glass? Because I understood that when I build it, it flies up and uh, through the glass. So this is what I did, if you build it under the glass, then it flies in the box and stays. So guys, we had the weaver trapped now, but the laser thingy wasn't working. And I re read online that the laser base must be just on top of the head of the weaver. So in order to do that, you can build a stasis chamber. And the stasis chamber basically makes the weaver not move and not attack. Then you can place the fluid laser base on top of the weaver just above his head. And this will finally work. So I ended up building three more laser drills but to be honest it had no effect because the weaver goes down to one health and then you need to wait until it has five health and then the drills actually get gas from it so having four drills doesn't really make sense now that we had ether gas we can finally make the supreme machine frame which is required for the Wither Builder. Noise. We will also need a mob crusher. It's quite easy to make if you have the setup. The dissolution chambers with latex and pink slime, which we do have, and I'll make it. Now the Wither Killing Chamber, let's call it, is quite easy to set up. Basically, you place the the weaver spawner on the ground, then on top of it you put some tinted glass and you just make a box for the weaver. After that, after you've done the box, you can place the mob crusher outside the box, but you will need some range upgrades. Now to get this working, all we need is to provide the Weaver Builder with Soul Sand and Weaver Skeleton Skulls. We just tested this out to see if it works and it actually worked. So the next thing we did is set up a small room where the Weaver Skeletons will spawn and travel to the Mob Crusher. This will provide us with endless skulls. I had a few problems with this one, but eventually I fixed it by expanding the spawn room. Now I set up two advanced item collectors, one to collect skulls and soul sand, because sometimes the soul sand is dropping from the explosion of the wither. And the second advanced item collector is to collect everything else dropped by the wither skeleton. All the other items are going into a trash can. 
And of course, the last thing I did is connect the drawer with the Neverstars to our MA system. The first thing I made is an infinity wand. Very easy to make, one star, two sticks. And this thing is amazing, very helpful with builds. Second thing I made was the ultimate backpack. This thing is amazing, guys. Now it was time to upgrade our power and basically achieve the last level of the mod power which is nitro and this is what we did i started by making a pattern for the actual nitro i upgraded all my energizing rods to nitro i upgraded the thermo generators to nitro level we placed an extra five but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to fill in the amount of power we were about to have. 20 plus billion. So at this point I wanted to test out the magmators. We started off with 10. But after testing one out, I decided why not go bigger. And so we did guys. We began with a huge wall of item drains that will provide the lava for the magmators. And we ended up with 30 magmators, 3 rows of 10. Now again, uh, lava is coming from the item drains. The item drains receive a lava egg from our ME system. And this system does keep up with all the magmators, just barely enough. Now at this point we have 1.2 million coming in per second. Another thing I did is craft the wireless universal terminal, which basically is a combination of the wireless crafting terminal, the wireless pattern encoding terminal, and the wireless pattern access terminal. And now we have everything on the go, which is amazing. Last thing I wanted to include in this episode, I wanted to start off with the power reactors. Now we're not fully automating them in this episode because we need to get into other mods which we have not started yet, but we can at least build one and see how much energy it provides and what we will need in the next episode. Now once you have the 36 reactors, you just place one block and it builds itself, which, which was amazing. <laughs> Finally something is doing your work for you. Now the reactor to work, it needs a dry coolant, I used some snow blocks, some water and uranitity. uranitity. Uh, you're a nine it. Anyways, we'll we'll talk about it later in the next episode. You can also place redstone and coal. The redstone increases the speed of the power making. The coal increases the amount. But they both add temperature. They heat up the reactor. So you need a good coolant. But anyways guys, we will get into this in the next episode. Now we got almost 22 billion power, which is amazing. Alright guys, so this is it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. We've done a few things. We've done the Weaver, the Neverstar farm. We've done reactors, we've done magmators. We got now superpower. I, I hope you enjoyed guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!